Look at these, fava beans. Which would go nice with a lamb kidney, wouldn't it? Well, one glass short, but I don't mind drinking out of the bottle. <laughs> I would describe Drew's cooking style, it's a little more measured. He thinks things through a little more. He has a passion for finding a detail within something, where I'm more about the roundness of something. When it comes to cooking, I would say that Pete and I are the odd couple. Ooh! <laughs> now we've arrived! Well, this looks great. I think this is where we're going, huh? This is what we're looking for. Say butcher it here, on premise. That's great. Wow, look at this place. Chamber man. of horrors in here. Yeah. This is where Rocky likes to come. Yeah. <laughs> we're here today, and we're, uh, we're going to go up in a kitchen nearby, and we're going to cook whatever we find interesting in the market. And this is looking good to us. You know, that linguine is just looking good to me, yeah. I think the fact that I got my hands in it first means I get to, to use it. Is that how it works? I had a dream about spinach. A spinach? <laughs> I had a dream about somebody pulling my hair. Please, can I take the spinach pot? Yeah. This is Pete, I'm Drew. Now I've heard this is the best cheese place in the market. Right now, what I've got in my element is a, is a lamb, and I've got some uh, uh, spinach uh, uh, linguine. My feeling so far is something in a Telegio land, in a, in a soft, uh, uh, not French, but Italian cheese. Let me destroy your feeling. I'm gonna yeah, some please feta. do. Let me, let me suggest you some French uh, cheeses. Yes, please okay. do. It's more a little bit stronger flavor. Yeah. Right. The thing I'm worried about is how do I get from uh, lamb to pasta? We'll guide you. Show me your lobsters. This is a female lobster. Do you know how to tell? Is that a female? Wrong. How do you tell? Because it's got some roe in it? No. Oh. Uh, this okay, is this a male. Is the male. I like two lobsters. Big picture, turn these into Canadian favorite, the poutine. I'm gonna make a lobster poutine. Our mutual protein is the lamb. I'm gonna roast mine with a nice herb crust. Lamb, I'm gonna do a, a dry rub of mint, black pepper, and sugar, and then quick sear it over the grill as high a temperature as I can get it. The pasta I'm gonna do in this terrific olive oil I've found, Granny Smith apples, mint. The surprise element, which I haven't talked about, are my tempura fried pickles. <laughs> and I know they're gonna oh, be beautiful and yummy. Oh, we're with Drew today, oh yeah. Oh, oh shit, I gotta get a fucking ice bath. Oh, Tabernacle! When you watch the two of us cook, Clean, not clean. The mayhem that is me, the mayhem that isn't him. I got more frickin' lobster on me than in the pot, it feels like. One of the reasons I love cooking with Pete, there's something very elemental about what he does that can either be enormously successful or enormously disastrous in those, the same way a hurricane or a beautiful day at the beach can be. Not gonna work. I tend to be more measured in my approach, more anal, as you were, and Pete does tend to kind of splash his way through things. Oh. It's put it together time. We got, as they say, bon appetito. I'm gonna dress it with several fresh ingredients. Pine nuts as well. All right, here we go, baby. Pick the right side, it could be good for you. <laughs> Let's see what you think of McVitie's over there. Give her a go. All right, fellas, load up. It's all my land, I have to be good. I'll kick you. It's a spicy pickle. That was a little bit different. I like it. This is a uh, pesto of mint. You come and cook at my house? Yeah, I'll for a price. A I can go anywhere. It's good, it's good fun. Yeah, nice to be here. 